What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you a bit of a different kind of video as the title probably told you. And if this happens to be the first video of mine that you're watching, what I normally do is review video games. Make guides for them, all that type of stuff. I just love playing video games. Specifically RPGs, but that's kind of my everyday bread and butter. So for me personally, when I see games and this trend of putting NFTs in games, I find that pretty disappointing, frankly. Now I don't actually have a problem with NFTs pretty neutral about it, outside of my opinion that they just should not be in video games. But to give a very brief explanation, an NFT is essentially a digital certificate of authenticity, if you want to think about it like that. Basically, you pay for something and there's a digital record saying, hey, this person owns this thing. However, due to the way the internet works, that is incredibly abusable. Because obviously, when it comes to things like art, just the fact that it's on the internet, you can of course just replicate that image a variety of ways very easily. Now, as a concept, I don't care about it one way or the other. It's not something I would ever personally spend money on, but, you know, people are grown, they can do what they're going to do. But when it comes to putting them in video games, it particularly annoys me because NFTs do not fundamentally bring or change anything in a game in any worthwhile way. So most of the implementations of NFTs in video games right now are unique skins, NPCs or areas of a game being sold as NFTs, and then when you go into that game, that person will either have something that no one else does, or they'll be part of the game in some way. Now there's the obvious comparison of microtransactions and things in video games, which function very similarly in many cases, actually. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of microtransactions in most games either. They just kind of exist. And unfortunately, I do actually believe that NFTs are probably going to be around for a while in games as well, because reality is I don't think most people are going to care one way or the other about them. But as I was getting at there, NFTs and microtransactions are kind of similar in their execution. And something I criticize both of these things for is that really all they are is a money grab. Not necessarily from the developers making the game, but rather the publisher or the people who own the studio, etc. Forcing them to put NFTs in the game in some cases. And I say that because, again, in no way does an NFT fundamentally add anything of value to the game. It does not change the game, it does not make it better, it does not make it more fun to play. It is simply offering a method of income to the publisher or the people holding stakes behind the money being made off that NFT. And ultimately what that boils down to is an attempt at providing value through artificial scarcity. They're going to make something that developers make all the time that could have just been part of the game, but instead of doing that, they're forcing developers to spend resources and time making these NFTs to then turn around and say, oh, there's only one of them now, despite that obviously not being true in the slightest, as they could have, again, made that much more widely dispersible, but instead chose to provide it as an NFT, generating artificial scarcity, thus trying to get people to pay for it, usually via auctions from what I've seen, in an attempt to generate money. Now, you'll see a bunch of buzzwords around NFTs about how they let people own part of the game in a way that wasn't possible, but that's meaningless. Most of the time when you buy a game these days, what you're actually buying is a license to use the software. And all of those buzzwords are just hype in an attempt to get someone to try to pay for something to generate income for a corporation that apparently doesn't have enough money, despite some of the larger publishers in fact making millions of dollars already on these games, and who knows how much these NFTs are going to wind up selling for. But to boil this all down to a point, a couple of things. One, again, NFTs should not be in video games. They do not add anything of value. Any time spent developing NFTs is time that could have been spent improving your game, which I imagine developers are probably well aware of, but publishers who can only see dollar signs apparently can't. And my last point is that sadly, I don't think NFTs are going to disappear from the video game space anytime soon, simply because 90% of people, I imagine, simply do not care about their existence. Most people are going to say, hey, I just want to play a game for a little while. They're going to jump into a game, see somebody with a skin that might actually wind up being an NFT, they're not going to think anything of it, and they're just going to carry on playing. And because of that, I do think that these publishers are sadly going to be able to use this method of revenue generation at the very least a little while. But point blank, this is a waste of resources that does not make any game better purely for the sake of trying to get more money out of customers. And as such, in its current form, I will never be in favor of this. So there you go, guys. Just kind of a video giving a rare strong opinion about something. 
feeling that NFTs do not belong in video games. By all means, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you're interested in video game reviews and other coverage. But regardless of any of that, truly thank you. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day. Thank you.